He bought the stout shield. It took a little bit longer than uh, it took for Moo. Who's uh, right there at the outer for Hello Top Lane? That's a real bad position right now for Banana. He gets it on the Zyla. He's got to get his way out there. There's That's no tangos. How's trying to help him out? He's blocked in the corner. First blood. Goes away. PG game is over yet. FY still the three line profit. He's actually going to come into this fight. Jal Wade wants to turn the tides of this fight. Fenrir now on the run. Chilling touches on cooldown. Got the kill though. Got the experience. And that's the key. He's now going, to the, going back to the bottom lane. I'm not seeing it as a huge win, especially when this is happening on bottom lane. Slow movement is going to be perfect. And this is going to set up now. Out with the die in the middle lane. But Xiao Wei is locked inside the box with the shackles and the shock. And the battery is not rocket. There's actually not even batteries on it. It was just plain rocket. They get themselves the kill. And the Alchemist, in the meantime, he's actually soloed up by a DD Brewmaster in the mid lane. So PG Gaming are now sitting at a 3 1 advantage three minutes in. See if they continue this aggressive movement. Uh... FY is going to find Shang Shen. Oh. He does have the boots advantage, but. ROTK is very far away. Don't think they're really going to get the kill. I say that though, <laughs> there is no boots on Sunshine. He can he, keep chasing this. He's the got right this. click of Shadow Shaman. He needs two more attacks at least to get Sunshine oh, down, but he can't he reach it. Top. Nobody finds it. Super comes in and claps. Looks like he's going to threaten the kill. He's going to get a crit. He's gonna actually going to oh, split. Splits. That's going to be a kill if the dragon doesn't deny it. The dragon, they're just Dying sitting there the and they're not denying. The dragons are too slow. Wow. Bottom lane, ROTK invis up, and there's going to be support coming from FY. Why next to him? Easy top! And here comes FY, he's going to do a ton of damage with that Ether Shock. Where's the Shackle? He's not using it. There you go. Finally Shackle. ROTK will pick up the kill. Big kill if they can claim it, but the Vortex goes down, which means Silent Earth, the Sunshine, and Banana are hanging inside the tree line. While in middle lane, move. He's actually popped off his chemical rage right now, but FY, the fissure, he needs to get the range of the Shackles, and here it comes, FY! He's still up there! Now move! Throws out the stun, double stun with a rocket from ROTK! Comes all the way from the bottom lane to get the kill. Super diving in deep now. He's going to a cooldown for Sunshine. Held inside the shackles as well. Totem Song is enough with the clap for Super. Caught inside the sprout, taking a large amount of damage from the T1 tower. But he will back up to his side of the river. And not only that, he's going to pick up the illusion rune. Top lane though, Silar in a lot of trouble. He's trying to run away really quickly. There's Heal. paper on how. They One more hit. The Wrath of Nature is going to come through and get the kill. Really powering. It, it took a really big fight. But look at Mu on the melee. He has a bracer and Alchemist. He's simply a great. Oh. going to come in right now. The cog's going to be ready. Mu's going to charge up the stun, but I'm not sure if he's going to make it out there. The tower is helping out. The tower actually has shifted, and now the split's going to come out. Mu's going to try to run away from the rest of the team. He's going to go down as a result. That bracer did not save him. He got entangled up, and that may be enough. Holding him there. If they get another entangle here, he's going to keep you in that already. He may be regretting that one right now. He's already used his rage, but no TP coming off the back of it. He's still got four one charges super. Well, he's looking for some kind of extra crit. Diving under here. He's got eight through and available. So open wound's not going to stop him here. Clap one second away, and that'll be the kill for the clap. How's out of range? And now super. He's in too deep. The creep wave is blocking me in the corner. He's trying to find a way out, but no man out of movement speed is going to save him from that. And also, newbie not too far. Position. How's oh, the closest how one? And there goes your picture. Follow up hex and shackles as well. RTK go to the battery from the trying to get himself a long here and how? Well he does have rage, but he has Okay. Shadow Sharma will finish the job right there. Better did commit Echo Slam as well. I'm very surprised that he decided to fight that. He could have infested the gold on Lone Druid. He's sitting at 3700, just a little bit more to that relic. It just sets up perfectly. That range like, of infest inside they just profit is a one mid lane is gonna be hooked coming in. Who's gonna get you off? Shackled up into cogs with three heroes hitting him and he's straight up dead. Although the heals of the ultimate not gonna be enough. No. That's still only a level they get to actually assist the team with the burst. They feel the need for example. Great TP coming in. What is this about? Uh, how? Uh, slightly suicidal. Shackles, visions, hexes, and now the stuns. How goes down? Livesteal unable to survive. Brumas already let his split off and he's going to move forward. The stun will go work from the Nana. Maybe he's going to stun him towards the end. They can actually turn what's one into two and potentially three. Another TP's on the way. And the Alchemist instantly pushed back. Echo Slam. Fissure going down. They're going to lose Alchemist and they're going to lose Sunshine as well. Super. The clap there. There it is! Actually just rolls him down! Triple kill for Supa! And Nubi bringing the supports one by one to this game. He's gonna shut down that life slur. It's gonna be expert. It looks like we're gonna see a game up top. It's gonna be a TP bomb coming in. There it is. There's a call straight up dead. And that's what they need to keep on doing. Get these ball. Scratch that. How do you defend your high ground now? Master Boy committed. And the bear is just falling away. The Cogs are going to split up Newbie, and the Brewmaster splits already gone. They hold Nuu in position, and they're trying to focus down How. He's looking for an arm to the Infest inside the Alchemist. They set him up, but they're going to bring him back down again. The front by time for ROTK. Now How 
jumped out. And he was stunned up while he's outside from his slow bottom like Brewmaster. He's able to pick up the kill finger of death. Return kill into RNGK. The tower is still not down yet, but the mass surfboards haven't even really been touched. The stun in the super up. Sila, he's very to his job. Fenrir, he's fine up coming down. Way. Finishes the job. The tier 3 tower is down as well, but Banana double kills the Necro units. He's actually body blocking up Sila a little bit, keeping him inside the answer screen. It wasn't to get the kill, and now FY blinks in with Super. Very quick execution to kill off Lion. Aegis is going to be removed, he's still has to alive. The Bear is still alive, that's a critical game. Moose going to stun himself, no, he's going to lose the Super. He's going to be fine, the Radius is burning him down, they pale Dust hit on two as well. But this Bear is just running rapid, he's the Radiant Base, they cannot hold the Bear back. The Mech's going to fly off, move. Well, yeah, and Sanjay's probably going to follow the moment with he has to back himself out. How? Very aggressive TP, Sila trying to get out and successfully does so. There were no stuns left. VG Gaming, they're going to pick up a couple more kills. Their lone drew a killing off Lion again. Because he ran into the acid spray and then, you know, the dagger get cancelled. Kunra is not going to make that mistake. Oh, boo. Looking for the stun on ROTK. Look how far out he's coming. He's so far out. The hex on the high ground. Oh, boy. That's the one still here. And the Fincher blocking Hal in with the cops as well. This is not where he wants to be, especially ROTK. He can't oh, get out God, of here. Someone forced up this man out. Six seconds till the cool down. The Fincher is just done. Thank you. It's not being used. And now it does. Mass up ones are there. We'll watch the invest go out from the Lion Killer. He's protected inside the Dire Creep. Now he pops back out again. But it's urgent for the ancient apparition. And ROTK chasing down Banana. The blink out from FY, and we finish off the escaping well, Lion. Huge play though, coming out from Newbie, they force out the Master Forward outside their base. Smart to take a fight outside, because the Master Forward is a shooting ability, but a smart play is the one thing, but the, the raw power of VG Gaming just and because why? the blink initiation, ow, he's gonna be dead! First it down here by VG Gaming, the Shackles gonna come through, he's gonna come in down again. He trades his life, more to support Shadow Shaman. GG! Who's gonna stop the bear? Nobody will! GG comes out for VG. And they take game one. That was perfect from VG. They realized just how far they can push it. Master Force were down here, but that bear was so powerful with Radius as well, so curious. Working their way through the Raxus was going to be so easy for them. And they just kept finding heroes, and they kept finding entangles as well. Moo tried to be really aggressive.